in New Hampshire electrocuted himself. In fact, he attached electrical clamps to his nipples and shocked himself for a Mountain Dew. Okay. All right. We have the video. Yes. We, we have, have the, the video. video. Let's watch. I bet, I bet you Mountain Dew for every day, for, uh, Mount, free Mountain Dew for us every day. Shocked for soda? New details are revealed about a shot class prank that nearly killed a teenager. Police have released their interviews with a student who shocked himself and the teacher who witnessed it. Seven's Victoria Warren joins us live in Dover, New Hampshire with more. That student is still recovering. He has not yet returned to school, and this happened more than a month ago. His teacher also hasn't returned to school. He remains on paid administrative leave while the school district tries to figure out what went wrong inside his classroom. Yeah, that's what went wrong. My fetal position. I rolled him over. Yeah. I noticed his eyes would roll back in his head. Dover, New Hampshire police releasing taped interviews with teacher Thomas Kelly and student Kyle Du Bois. Du Bois nearly died when, on a dare, he attached electrical clamps to his chest and another student plugged them in. A third student recorded it on his cell phone. I, say, I, I, bet, I bet you Mountain Dew for every day, for, uh, Mount, free Mountain Dew for us every day, okay. if I did it. Du Bois told police he doesn't remember much. Police were trying to figure out if his teacher put him up to it. We're told that Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly made the comment that he would give you a Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard people say that, but I don't remember him saying that at all. The one thing I remember him saying is, what will you give me if I clip these to my nipples? You know, I have nothing. Give me a Mountain Dew, Kelly. I don't have no Mountain Dew. Kelly he? showed police how the clamps are used, saying when he saw Kyle Du Bois, oh, they weren't plugged in. I remember seeing him pick up the cord, and, you know, and he just picked it up and had a grin on his face. Right. I said, knock it off, you know. Right. Then he put the cord down. Kelly says he then turned to another student and started talking about fantasy baseball. That's when Kyle went down. Kelly performing the CPR that possibly saved his life, but serious questions remain about how he runs his classroom. I would never promise anyone to plug a cord in and electrocute themselves. In any way, you did, know? You, did you put the kid up to it? Not at all. Police have finished their investigation. They say nothing criminal happened here. I spoke with the school superintendent. He says the school's investigation continues. He hopes to have that wrapped up in the next week or so. And he says the school board has the ultimate decision on what happens to this teacher. Live in Dover, New Hampshire, Victoria Warren. All right, so... Um, of course, we're going to convene the court here and yes. have a judgment. Uh, first, I'd like to judge the news reporters, as usual, shocked for soda. <laughs> I love the title. <laughs> I know. All right, just calm down. Uh, though the anchor was hot. Okay. Uh, now, uh, as far as the teacher, first of all, the kid says, I don't remember him saying that. Mm -hmm. They're right. Criminal case, totally not guilty. Right? Got to let him go. And he also did CPR on the kid and saved his life. That's pretty good evidence on his side. The flip side is, so he says he's going to attach nipples to his thing and, and, and electrocute himself. I say, I don't have no Mountain Dew. And he, then he turns around and talks about fantasy football with <laughs> another student. To be fair. <laughs> in an electrical technology class. <laughs> to be fair, fantasy baseball. <laughs> and so I'm sure that was fascinating. He's like, the next thing you know, I know, his eyes rolled back in his head. Yeah, dude, pay attention. Okay, I mean, he's grabbing the things and he's, you know... No, no, and he's trying to get somebody to bite on it. No, pay attention. No, so as far as the school's concerned, uh, I, you know, if my kids are going to that school, I'm feeling like yeah, I wish I had a teacher that paid a little bit more attention to what's going on in his class, especially when people get electrocuted. Now, also, I understand how serious this stuff is. You know, I talk about this in terms of the tasers all the time. Now, it was different. It's not a taser, okay? But... You, you throw an electric shock on somebody, that's pretty serious business. Their heart can stop, like his did, mm -hmm. right? So you got to be super serious about that. So if I was the principal, I'd probably suspend the teacher. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. I wouldn't fire him. I would definitely suspend him. What's this whole suspended pay but while you're getting paid? I, I don't understand that. That's not a punishment at all. I would love suspended pay. <laughs> like, can I get suspended and get paid for it, please? <laughs> like, right now? That'd be great. <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, do you have any nipple clamps? That you <laughs> no, okay, wait, all right, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, no, I hear you. It's probably because of the unions. Right. Uh, you know, and there's that's, probably uh, rules. But that's et crazy. I don't know. I don't want to go into a rant for that. But <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, no, here's the bottom line on it. I agree with you, of course. If you're going to get suspended, 
Uh, it has to be without pay. Otherwise, it's comical. Otherwise, it's a paid vacation, right? So uh, that's what we suggest you do. I don't know if it should be for a month. I don't know how long the suspension should be. You know what? We'll let you decide that in, in, in the actual school itself. Are we not merciful? Are we not merciful? But for saving the kid's life, I say don't fire. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> After their initial mistake. Watch a live show 24-7 at theyoungturfs.com.